you know when you just feel almost childish and you just want to run your finger in? I really wanted to do it just now, but I didn't because you'll ruin the whole thing. I don't want to contaminate it, but I want to contaminate it. We're at Stick With Me Sweets with Susanna Yoon, and today we're going to stick a whole marjolaine cake into a bonbon. Susanna Yoon, she comes from, per se, one of the top restaurants in New York City. And to see her kind of leave that and come and do this specialty is just so interesting to me. Traditional French bonbons, they are composed of a singular ganache. What I wanted to add into this shop was a dessert and a bonbon concept. It's cookies, meringues, we just put all the different types of dessert components, compact it into a small little bonbon, make it fun. So to put a marjolaine cake into a bonbon um, sounds kind of crazy because look at all of these layers. I mean, in terms of texture, you have all these toasted almonds, you have the decoise, and you have this chocolate, and you have another layer. I mean, how is she squeezing it in there? A marjolaine cake is a traditional French pastry with ganache, wow. buttercream, a hazelnut d'aquoise. Well, this was my favorite cake in culinary school, so why not put it in a bonbon? Fair enough. All right, let's do it. How many times have you tested this? This is actually the fourth time. Oh my god. I tried it with all different types of combinations. Today we're doing a new one. Tomorrow I'll probably, be, I'll probably do a different one too. We're going to start by shelling it. For some marjolaines, it's actually glazed in um, a chocolate glaze. And so I sprayed it black. The brush strokes pretty much represent the layering that's going to happen inside. Now we're going to create the cavity. <laughs> that's funny it's called a cavity because I bet <laughs> anyone who eats a lot of these will get lots of cavities. Look at that. Yeah. It's called the vibrating table. It pops out all the air bubbles. I'm just checking to see the, the thickness of the shell. You don't want it too thin. You don't want it too thick. It has to be just perfect. Um, you want to give it a shot? Heck yeah. Yeah, OK. Haven't done this in maybe over 11 years, but uh, let's do it. Okay. Oh, 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 nope. Over. Wow, it's really funny how like you can do this. It's not exactly like riding a bike. How long does this take you to do? Like 35 seconds, and right now it's taking me. Uh, it, yeah, maybe maybe around 30 seconds. <laughs> but it's good. One, two, three. Go. Ugh. Go for it. And then. It's beautiful. Yeah. Go for it. Look down below. <laughs> see if you like that thickness of the shell. Oh, yeah, I love it. Okay, cool. Then you're, you're just, oh, you're gonna flip it over. Yeah. All right, well, <clears throat> I'm gonna need more than just one okay. paper towel, I think. <laughs> that looks beautiful. Not too shabby. <laughs> this is for you, Jacques. So this is our, our meringue. It's nice, light, and beautiful. So we're making a super small recipe for super small cakes. So what do we have in here? It's just the hazelnut flour, almond flour. And some tenex. Tenex, that's it. Why pastry? Because I personally have a totally, I wanted to be a lawyer. I didn't want oh, yeah. pastry. So I'm curious, I'm always curious about why pastry chefs become pastry chefs. My grandma was a really good cook. And when she passed away, I wanted to do something that she was good at. <laughs> so it brings me a little bit closer to her. I wish I had a sweet story. But <laughs> <laughs> and also, I love sweets. So I, I used to hide a whole bunch of candy underneath my bed in a shoebox. Oh. And then my mom found all the wrappers and scolded me severely, but did not stop me. So now we're actually going to pipe mini cakes. 10x on top, create a nice crust on top. So now they're nice and golden brown. Oh, yeah, they're done. Sorry. Yeah, that's what I love about these. A crunchy exterior, and then the interior is really nice and yeah. chewy and fun. These gleaming bonbons of different colors, and then you pop it in your mouth, and you're just like, yeah, <laughs> what am I eating right now? <laughs> oh, it's a cake and a bonbon. Yeah. So you get all different types of textures, flavor profiles into a small little bonbon. It's literally a pie inside of a bonbon. 
you really get that meringue and the crust yeah. is like really coming through. And you and I both know that meringue, if yeah. it sits, it starts to deflate and break yes. down into a back into egg white. How are you keeping it fluffy? Uh, there is no egg white inside what? Of the top. Yeah. <laughs> We cook uh, two different types of sugars. We use gelatin to set it, and it looks and tastes just like a marine. I can't handle this. <laughs> We're gonna start to make the jandia ganache. So there's heavy cream in here, there's um, some vanilla bean, some invert sugar, salt. The most traditional is a dark chocolate ganache. And I wanted to add more flavor to our praline, so I made um, a jandia ganache instead of a dark chocolate one. So this is actually gonna be the first component of the marjolaine. I'm gonna pipe just a little bit, because mind you, we have a, a lot of different layers to go through. Again, all by eye. Yes, all by eye. Next, put the praline cream on top. Okay. So now I'm actually going to insert the little mini cakes inside. If it rose too high, then I won't be able to put the last uh, ganache that I wanted to put in as well. Our last layer, the almond and hazelnut praline. This is a crucial time because i got to make sure that the it's perfectly leveled. This is the amount of room that you want for thickness for yes, the bottom. Yes, for the cap. Like, is that going to be okay? Is there going to be enough room for the cap? Oh yeah, that's perfect. You want the cap to be the same thickness of the, the shell itself. And so when you cut, you'll be able to see that it's just one uniform line. I love that. So I'm gonna seal the bottom. Spatula work, you're just like wah, wah, wah. Are you ready? We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. We'll see. Here we go! Oh. Yay! So we have the jandia ganache here, the praline cream, uh, the cake in the center with the praline. So we got all the layers inside. Are you ready? Shall we? Yeah. Cheers. Okay, cheers. <laughs> Mm. Holy mm. My eyes are watering again, guys. <laughs> this was definitely the best trial I've done. The whole challenge with this is um, a daquoise and a meringue, as you know, it, it doesn't stay that, that texture. And so that's why we layered it with a, a praline cream that would kind of hold it together and the crunchy praline that doesn't get it wet. But even the order of the layering was really important. So it, it really maintains the crunch in the center yeah. and I think that's the highlight of this bonbon. How you're able to execute that is just really special. That is really awesome work. Yeah, it was quite a, quite a challenge. <laughs> this is crazy. Maybe I'm we'll like- we doing an opera next time. <laughs> <gasps> oh my God. What? I'm shocked you haven't done that already. <laughs> I haven't yet, but we're always playing around with new things, so. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that first ever episode of Sugar Coated. Here's another video that you might like and make sure you're subscribed to Eater so that you can see my next episode right when it drops.